Want to know who will win your week and differentiate you from just another fantasy manager? I'm Bradley Staller, and I'm here to bring you four players tonight. Not three like normal, but four players that Player Profiler has projected significantly different from the consensus rankings that are going to bring you fantasy goodness here in week number nine. Last week, in week eight, we said Ricky Pearsall was a borderline flex play, and he got over 70 yards on five touches. So he didn't let you down in full PPR. He got the double digits. We're happy with that. We're moving on to week number nine. The first player, week nine, Tyrone Tracy. He's been bringing the fantasy goodness over the last four weeks, two games of at least 20 fantasy points. He cleared concussion protocol. He was the expert consensus running back 49. You need to plug and play him with confidence. He's a mid-pack running back, too. He's got pass-catching capability, great speed of 4-4, 4, 4 8, 40. And it's clear that the Giants want to continue to lean into this guy, Tyrone Tracy. This is only his second year of being a running back at all. So there's still untapped potential with Tyrone Tracy. Yes, we want to be in on Tracy, who faces Washington, a mid-pack run defense. There's going to be fantasy points to be had in this matchup against Washington. So play Tyrone Tracy mid-running back two with confidence even though the consensus right now, I expect the consensus to rise over the next couple of days, but still the difference between running back 17 and 49 is just too big of a gap, even at the closing line value, running back 17 is where we want to have Tracy. The next player has been letting you down here and there throughout the season, and that's been Chris Olave, but this is the Chris Olave game. Back in week one, they... The Saints faced the Carolina Panthers, and it was an absolute blowout, just an absolute annihilation of the Panthers. Remember, the Saints put up a 40-burger, didn't need Chris Olave. But things have not all gone well for New Orleans since the first two games where the Saints were super hot. They're going to have to be throwing, and Carolina's going to have to be throwing. And so we look at this game as a lot more competitive now, fasting forward to week number nine. The Saints are going to need to lean on Chris Olave a lot more, especially with questions at the running back position. Kamara has been dealing with injuries. He's expected to play, but Jamal Williams out. Not good. You have Kendra Miller out. Not good. So you could see Taysom Hill be leaned into a lot. Rashid, uh, Rashid Shahid is gone as well for the Saints. But Olave is now healthy and looking even just last week, 14 targets, three red zone targets, eight receptions. He finishes the wide receiver 12. And now we get Derek Carr back. That's exciting for the Saints. You want to plug in Chris Olave as a solid wide receiver one, not a borderline wide receiver two. This is the Chris Olave breakout game. Player profiler giving it to you projecting a top five finish for Chris Olave in week number nine. Now, if you're looking for a flex play that you want a little more, more confidence in, that is wide receiver Jacoby Myers. Expert consensus is wide receiver 29. We have Jacoby Myers projected at wide receiver 20, so nine spots ahead of consensus. And we look at what Jacoby Myers has done. Wide receiver 27 in fancy points per game. But this is a good matchup. We're looking at Jacoby Myers facing off against a Cincinnati team that needs to get their act together. They need to get their offense pumping and moving. Zach Moss is out. That means there's a lot of Chase Brown. Chase Brown is speed. T. Higgins not expected to play. That means there's lots of Jamar Chase downfield. So we expect that this is going to be a big game in a sneaky shootout a potential game between the Bengals and the Raiders. So we want to be in on Jacoby Myers. Devontae Adams, obviously very gone from the Raiders. So it's Jacoby Myers. It's Brock Bowers, who's been dealing with some injuries as well here and there. Jacoby Myers, healthy, and he's the best wide receiver by far on this Raiders team. We want to be in on Myers, who on the season has a very respectable 18% target share. I expect that to significantly rise now that Devontae Adams is gone. Looking over the last four games with Jacoby Myers, 9, 10, 9, and 7 targets, six red zone targets over the last four games. 
we want to be in on Jacoby Myers as a top 20 wide receiver. And finally, I'm going to give you a deep cut. You want a deep cut? I'm going to give it to you. The consensus is not caught up to Jalen Coker, wide receiver, 53 in the consensus. He is projected by player profiler to be an almost wide receiver, back end wide receiver three. This is the best PFF graded wide receiver on the Carolina Panthers by far. Better than what Deontay Johnson was graded at, better than Xavier Leggett. And yes, maybe Adam Thielen is working his way back from the injury. But Jalen Coker is going to be getting opportunity. He looked really good last week. He played season high 69% of snaps. Very nice. And he's got some nice athleticism about him. 98th percentile burst score, 98th percentile catch radius. And he plays in the slot. So you're going to, the Carolina Panthers have nothing to lose with trying to get more exposure and development out of a player like Jalen Coker. So. We want to see Jalen Coker start to get into your lineups. This is an interesting matchup against New Orleans, right? I mentioned that the Saints are going to be throwing a little bit more. You want that back and forth. Coker is very interesting in terms of a deep dart throw DFS play. Wide receiver 38. He's going to give you some value. We saw even last week Jalen Coker give you a top 17 fantasy finish, 17.8 fantasy points, six targets. So we expect the snap share to continue to increase throughout the season, the targets to increase, and fantasy point goodness in this matchup against New Orleans. All right, everyone, if you like the content, found this helpful, smash the subscribe button. You can follow me on X at FFStaller. Until next time, good luck in the fancy football streets.